I've been sitting here for the past 10 minutes or so, just trying to think of the best possible way, the most respectful possible way I can shoot this video. Um, last night, the news broke globally on Instagram, Twitter, any major social media platform that former WWE superstar, current AEW superstar, AEW wrestler, John Huber, known as Brody Lee and formerly known as Luke Harper to WWE fans has passed away at the age of 41. Now, this has come to a big shock to myself, to many WWE, AEW wrestling fans in general. Um, I did not see this one coming. <laughs> Apparently it was to a non-COVID related lung issue, uh, which he has been battling for a while under the radar. Not many people known about it. His wife did post out on Instagram, uh, thanking all the doctors and nurses that helped. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna refer to him as Luke in this video because I'm primarily a WWE fan. So that helped Luke out. Um, and oh, this is just, this is just crazy guys. He was literally, I, I, I'm not gonna lie to you all, I haven't been watching AEW, but I, I know roughly what's been going on. I know that he was the exalted one, the leader of the Dark Order. I know that he's a former TNT champion. I know that he had his last match literally two months ago. And here we are now. <laughs> which is absolutely crazy. Um, thankfully, WWE, All Elite Wrestling, all the wrestlers have acknowledged the passing of Luke. Uh, they have, you know, posted out Triple H, Stephanie, Randy Orton, Bray Wyatt in particular. They've all, you know, posted out. That's just a small number. So many people have respectfully posted and it is amazing to see how loved Luke Harper was in the wrestling world. Um, one of the most humble, kind, talented people uh, that I, just from things that I have read, I never, I unfortunately never got to meet the man. Um, but just from the things I've seen, apparently he'd walk into a room and his smile would instantly put everyone at ease. Like, it's such a shame, honestly. Um, but yeah, unfortunately guys, Luke Harper, Brody Lee has passed away. He has died. Um, and yeah, very, very sad news indeed. Now I don't want this video to go on too long, but I just thought it would be cool for me to share some of my favorite Luke Harper memories with you. Um, I remember distinctively being a child uh, back in 2013, when I was about 11, watching the Wyatt Family debut, and I remember it was Luke Harper, um, more than anyone, that terrified me. And I can't replicate it, but he had this way of doing this thousand mile stare, and it was just terrifying to me. But from where I stand now, it just shows that he lived the gimmick and he was so fantastic at playing the Luke Harper character. It was literally like, and he would just stare. Um, I'll see if I can get a picture. I'm sure you guys know what I mean, but there was that. Then when the Wyatt family broke up, you know, Harper turned heel or stayed heel. Rowan turned face. They didn't really do anything with Rowan. But, you know, Harper beat Dolph Ziggler for the, uh, Intercontinental Championship. He had an amazing match, I believe TLC 2014, defending the IC title against Ziggler, which he unfortunately lost. Um, WrestleMania 34, him and Rowan have come back, re repackaged themselves as the Bludgeon Brothers. They beat the New Day and the Usos at WrestleMania 34 for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. There's a really cool shot of both Luke Harper and Eric Rowan standing on the turnbuckle at WrestleMania, uh, holding the championships up high after they've won. But yeah, guys, I mean, the whole Wyatt family feud with Randy Orton in 2017, I genuinely thought they were going to push Luke Harper to the main event. I really wanted to. Unfortunately, this was at a point before I started making videos, so there's no actual recollection of this on film. But 
I've really wanted Luke Harper to, to go on and face Randy Ambray in a triple threat at WrestleMania 33. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. But, you know, we had the whole ba uh, Battle Royal, which was botched. Um, Luke Harper technically won. They tried to say that it was AJ Styles and Luke Harper's feet hit the floor at the same time. But no, Luke Harper definitely won that one. But, you know, it's... I, I've got several memories as a fan of moments of his on TV that I really enjoyed. And uh, the most recent one, obviously he returned at Clash of Champions 2019. That was only for a short run. He didn't do anything significant. He was always one of them guys that unfortunately was never pushed to the best of his ability. Never pushed to what he was fully capable of in the WWE. But he was also one of them guys that was loved by everyone in the locker room and not many wrestlers can say that. Not many wrestlers can say that they literally walk into a locker room and everyone there is glad to see them. So that alone is an accolade in itself. But yeah, guys, I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. Um, very, very sad by this news. Uh, my condolences go out to obviously John Huber's family. Uh, his wife, his children, his friends, and um, yeah, rest in peace John, rest in peace Brody, rest in peace Luke. Thank you for all of the special moments and matches you've gave us over the years. I'll see you guys in the next video.